us up on that front. Flipping sides, it's been somewhat good for the Lakers right now. We've been we've been excited for them, uh, but it's turned out to be great for the Clippers right now. They're yeah. playing real well and, and have got teams rolling. Uh, and look like the team that uh, we thought they would become now that they have got all these stars in the building uh, with Harden uh, having his system and all that kind of stuff now rolling in, in, in place. Um, as you could see to the question here, is it finally the Clippers' year? Have they found the formula and they're going to put it together uh, to make a real run this year? Or do you still see a way that they could fall short? This would have been the perfect time to bust out the shirt. Uh, the Somo oh Clippers Nation, for sure. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it's hard to say it's finally the Clippers' year because we've we've seen what the Clippers do. Uh, it's like a different version of that Chargers curse that we talk about it in the NFL, but the Clippers just seem like they have the, the right pieces on paper and, and uh -huh. falter uh, when it comes winning time. But um, I, I think they're they're really built for it this year, ultimately, because – they added James Harden. Obviously, they added Russ last year, so that's another fail safe that you can uh, break in case of emergency if, if one of these guys goes down and, and is hurt for a long stretch of time. Mm -hmm. But I think it ultimately comes down to Kawhi being healthy. Um, he is the guy. Like They do have three stars, and they do have Russ off the bench, but Kawhi is ultimately the engine for me. Um, right. Harden can be that in the regular season, but we, we've got a track record of him in the postseason. To, to where we can say we know he, he'll give you a game or two, but when it comes closing time, you can't rely on him to get you uh, to the promised land. But you can rely on Kawhi. So yeah. I think ultimately it's going to come down to Kawhi being healthy and ready to go in the postseason. And I think they're built for that because they've got a little bit more depth now and guys that can help him carry the load. He's been playing most of the season so far and definitely salute to him for that. I think he understands what the situation is and is ready to embrace it and finally make the run that we have thought the Super team could for, for a few years. So, uh, yeah, definitely am in agreement with you. Also, the point about Harden, we talked about uh, him being in the role that he is now. We talked about before he even got there. I think it's much more comfortable for him. Uh, yeah. He can be the guy that goes out and just does his plays his game. And all Play the pressure makes, and yeah. more, of the, more of the discussion will always circulate more around Kawhi and PG and other on that squad. So yeah. I think the pressure is off of him. Obviously, we still see that he's there and what he's doing and acknowledge that he still has to just play a big part of it as he is right now. But uh, Kawhi and PG surely uh, get more of the, the light, uh, which which – James Harden yeah. he wanted to deal with much when in other, in other places. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I definitely think it could work out. I won't fully stamp it as Lakers guys somewhere. I don't want to put it on this episode, but uh -huh. it is what it is. I, I don't know if it fully can be, but they're on the right track for sure right now. Yeah. And I'm excited to see how that could play out. I will also acknowledge right now uh, we're live on – I got IG figured out. We're live on there right now if you guys are talking. Uh, Nacho said uh, – He's praying for the Clippers' downfall. A <laughs> hundred dollars, they're out in the first round. <laughs> I don't know about first round, but <laughs> I, I, I understand the downfall. Yeah, yeah. So uh, <laughs> the, the, people can see that they potentially uh, could could fall short, but I won't fully stamp that and, and ruin somewhat for them to uh, finally get, get the job done. So I'm excited for that. I'm also to the point about them and Kawhi uh, uh, really embracing his role and going forward this year. He just announced that he had signed a three-year extension uh, with a somewhat of a pay cut included in that to make room for these stars that are around him. Um, the question is, uh, do you think the other guys will actually fall in line with that and make sure they keep this core together uh, for a long run beyond this season? Yeah, I think I, I had on my little tagline there, Kawhi, let me hold a dollar because, uh, <laughs> man, he, he just got a big bag in that extension, 50-plus right. uh, a year for over three years. So, yeah, he's well paid. And I know that Lawrence Frank uh, said that uh, they wanted Kawhi to be a Clipper for a long time coming, and Kawhi yep. wants to be a Clipper. I think it's it's huge to have him locked down for another additional three years in terms of guys uh following suit and, and and taking a pay cut i i think a guy like harden where i don't know if he has many more of those trade requests uh <laughs> available to him in this stage of his career and where it seems like he's a match made in heaven for these guys mm -hmm. and he's he's at home as well I, I think a guy like harden would be willing to follow suit and and, and take less to to stay uh, and play with these guys who it seems like he's got great chemistry with now. And mm -hmm. and everyone, it seems like, is benefiting from uh, the trade at this point. Um, even Zubac, uh, as the big man and, and the major roller there, like he's right. uh, playing really great ball uh, next to Harden in that pick and roll. So, yeah, I, I think guys would be willing to, to follow suit, especially because they are seasoned vets who have been 
have gotten their deals as well. I don't know how I keep doing that, but <laughs> uh, I actually, to your point, much as I hear you, I actually disagree a little bit. Uh, just in the context, specifically, you have a thought? Uh, just in regards to Harden, okay. because he was just mad about the city situation about not getting his sure. max deal, sure. expecting max money uh, to go another contract and not get at least even close to top dollar. He may take a slight pay cut, like yeah, yeah. like I did with a little eight million off the top, wherever it is. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so they have a whole 15, 20 mil cut off his deal to make sure he can fit somewhere. I don't think he's going to do that again, especially if he's showing he's playing well right now and may actually get offered top dollar somewhere else. So uh, they reportedly said he had eyes at Houston and other places like that. I don't know if they still will be calling uh, next summer as they are rebuilding in, in a good way. But you know, yeah. somebody else is calling with, with a big bag. It might be hard for him to pass it up when he already has done so. So uh, it would be great to have him here. But maybe to our point about this season, if they go and get a chip, he's like, all right, I'm going to go and stay and I'll take a cut because we got a chip and we want to go repeat. But anything short of that, uh, I think it may lead to him leaving afterwards potentially uh, because maybe. of what already has happened with him in the past. So, yeah, I, I'm not as sure with, with him as, as you are. Looking at uh, looking at his stats right now, like he's not really in big bag territory. Like he's playing really, really well, as we know. But, I mean, he's averaging 17, 8, and 5. Like it, it's cool, but it, it's not like max money, you know, in terms of uh, – uh, I'm, I'm, wise, sure so. argue, I'm sure I'm sure he'll argue that in context of being alongside Kawhi and PG. Sure. He's 30, 34 years lessons. old as well, too. So. Yeah, yeah. But in the past that like he has, though he is 34 now, he has the accolades already checked off to say, right. I'm still here producing that at, at a decent quality and deserves somewhat of a whatever top dollar offer. Um, right. So I'm sure I'm sure his agents will find a way. He clearly is a bad chaser, at least in, in some regards. So uh, he'll find a way, excuse me, to – um. Uh, go and get uh, the money that, that he wants. So, yeah, just got to be careful with that. Um, but but it would be great uh, to see them keep it all together. Uh, also, in context of the Clippers uh, moving to a new arena next year, right? Uh, make sure they have uh, a lot of guys that can help sell and, and get those those seats filled. They got their guy in Kawhi, and the, yeah. the rumors yeah. that they're working yeah. on it with Paul George as well. So, uh, I, 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 I didn't want to mention Kawhi, Peach. I not, didn't want to mention him, but I kind of skipped past Paul George because it just sounded like he was in line to stay. Even if he may have cut himself, but he's got the show popping out here. He's doing this thing. His right. family, I believe, uh, I believe was also here. He's from here and all of that. So, yeah. Uh, it seems Palmdale, like Palmdale, but we'll count it. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, <laughs> yeah. Before, of course. But just saying, he has seems like he's fully selling in LA and yeah. doesn't it, uh, appear to won't be eyeing anything else. So uh, I, I'm sure he'll he'll find a way to get uh, the contract that is proper for him to stay for, for the wrong time. And then Har- Harding is the real, the real question mark, which is why yeah. I skipped to him. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how that plays out. It's going to be fun to follow as things go along. Uh, we'll be interested to see what you have to say about that in the comments and all of that. And uh, we will leave the Clippers talk at that. Unless you have anything else you want to add, Alex? Uh, no, I mean, a salute to Ty Lue as well, because people were kind of going after him when they started 0-6 with, with Harden uh, Correct. In, in the initial days of the trade. But uh, it seems like he's kind of found his his formula in terms of uh, their rotations. And uh, they've been winning a lot of these games handedly. And they, mm-hmm. at one point, I think we're on a 10-game win streak uh, when we hadn't been covering uh, hoops. Oh. So. That, yeah. that actually is the last part. My apologies. We did the same thing with the Lakers. Uh, come with their schedule, uh, yeah. looking at things. Uh, I won't go back, but they were winning a lot of games. They, they lost the Lakers recently, but right. uh, they've been winning a whole lot uh, since then. Um, following up uh, by this time next week, uh, tonight they play the Clippers, they play the Raptors. Right. Uh, Friday they play the Grizzlies. Sunday they play the Timberwolves. Tuesday they play the Thunder. Uh, yeah. And then they have a few days off until the, uh, the following Sunday where they play the Nets. Off, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So in the next three games, at least, we'll be back before that next game. In the, in the next three or four games, Raptors included tonight, how do you do that going? The next four? Um, a lot of good matchups, actually. Yeah. I, I, job. Those other three should be good games, though. I think they win tonight. There's no Siakam, no Portal. Um, yeah, I, I think they win tonight. I think they beat the Grizzlies. Uh, T-Wolves, are they still sitting at number one? Like, they've been yeah. playing really well, too. Yeah. Uh, so good defense, good matchup. I'll say between those last two, I think they win one of those two. So I'll, I'll say they'll go three and one in that four. All right. That was the same thought I had. That all sounds right to me. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, I think they're going to put, put on a, a good show for us in the next few games and excited to continue to talk about them as things go along. Uh, you had another point. I kind of cut you off, but you just a final point about the Clippers before we get out of, out of here. Uh, no, no, I, I was just talking about them having been streaking uh, for, right. for a while now. Um, yeah. It. 
So, yeah, that is it with the Clippers. Good stuff. We talked about Lakers earlier as well. I continue to show love to the platform. Follow us on LA Sports Report, and we show, show love back to you. I'm excited to continue to build this thing up, and um, we'll continue to cover things, uh, Clippers, Lakers, Rams, Chargers, and beyond as their seasons go on. So uh, yeah. good stuff on, on those fronts.